Friday the 13th of July. It's a beautiful summer's afternoon. I couldn't think of anywhere better to be than in the heart of central London with about 20 to 30,000 other people protesting the arrival of the most powerful man in the world, the President of the United States, Donald Trump. What could be more British than taking the day off of work to go stick two fingers up to the giant man baby himself? Let's find out exactly what's brought people onto the streets here today and maybe kind of gather the mood of this situation. My name's Doug, you're watching Football TV. Now, fellas, I ask you. So there is some absolute scenes here in central London already. Nothing more British than a wazak. When democracy's under attack, what do we do? When humanity's under attack, what do we do? When black people are under attack, what do we do? When Palestine is under attack, what do we do? Today we are making history. It's estimated that there's over 100,000 people marching on the streets of London today. This is the biggest protest the UK has seen since we invaded Iraq and I believe the biggest Donald Trump protest that there has ever been outside of the US. Every so often you just get these mad eruptions. Never entirely sure what, what it's for. It could be one of countless different reasons. But you can tell that we're all standing together on this one. Fuck Trump! I can hear the words. Donald Trump, Donald Trump, he's no fucking good. You see the different level of effort. Some people have gone through. That's a fine looking orange Trump you've got there. Gentlemen, what's, uh, what's your message to Donald Trump? Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. Uh, nice and simple. So why are you out here protesting today? Uh, Donald Trump's racism and xenophobia um, and also our government's complicity. He's reason really sucking up to this big orange racist. What's your name and where are you from? Delphine, Plymouth. You've come all the way from Plymouth Delphine for this Plymouth. today? Yep. And what has brought you out here in particular? Climate. Climate. Is that your issue? Because everyone's picked their own issue here about. There are so many to choose from. <laughs> and what's your message to Donald Trump just now? Rise up, go home. Well, his homophobia, his racism, Islamophobia, um, his general demeanour is not the way a president of, a, of one of the world's greatest countries should hold himself. It's disgusting, his behaviour. Christians, not part of this at all, but they seem to blend in quite nicely. I hate his misogyny, I hate his uh, racism, he's a degenerate and he should never become president. And what is your special message to Donald Trump just now? Fuck off! <laughs> the British are always diplomatic. <laughs> into our schools, into our hospitals, into our workplaces. Relentless campaign to blame Muslims and refugees and migrants for all the crimes and all the injustices caused by the powerful people at the top of society. You go 100,000 people taking to the streets of London to send a very clear message to the leader of the free world, to whether you're standing in solidarity with the Palestinian community, the Syrian community, the LGBT activists, the African American community, the resistance against climate change denial, the resistance against fascism. They are all here. They are standing together. They are standing strong. This message of resistance has been here in society before. It's here once again. Till next time.
My name's Doug. This is Festival TV. <laughs>